The Oppo N1 is the latest smartphone from the Chinese manufacturer and packs plenty of powerful hardware combined with a rare feature, a rotating camera. We'll come back to the device itself in a bit, as now we'll focus on the unboxing. The phone is packed in a premium flat box that contains separate boxes for each accessory. First, there's the charger. Inside, there's also a micro USB cable. There's a one-piece headset with an in-ear design, as well as some paperwork and a SIM ejector tool. Also included is the O-Click remote, which was a nice surprise. The Oppo N1 is a phablet with a 5.9-inch screen that flaunts a 1080p resolution and a really high pixel density of 373 ppi. The screen's digitizer is super sensitive and can be used with gloves as well. The phone itself is crafted from an unspecified material, though we'd suggest it's polycarbonate with a very nice finish and a cool, soft touch. The use of premium materials as well as the addition of a 3610 mAh battery has the downside of making the Oppo N1 weigh a hefty 213 grams. That's hardly the easiest to carry around. The soft touch back hosts one of the most curious features of the N1. It's called O-Touch and is a 40 by 30 millimeter touchpad that can be used to control the UI and apps. It's especially useful in one-handed operation and gives you a few handy shortcuts. There are lots of gestures. For instance, you can start the camera from pretty much any screen just by pinching with all three fingers. You can also scroll around web pages and the UI without touching the screen. One of the most interesting features of the Oppo N1 is also placed on the back and on the front as well, the rotatable camera module. Is a 13 megapixel CMOS sensor with six lenses joined by dual LED flashes. You can pin it back, forward, or just about anywhere in a 206 degree arc. The camera is really easy to rotate, but still feels stable enough to not be too flimsy. This is a highly complicated component with 50 connecting cables, but the company says it has put it through rigorous tests and it should withstand some 100,000 rotations. The Oppo N1 runs on Android 4.2 Jelly Bean that's been heavily modified by the company's Color OS user interface. It's pretty slick looking and packs a lot of custom features. The lock screen is the usual Jelly Bean affair and supports lock screen widgets. Past it, you're greeted with the Color OS home screen configuration, which is quite customizable. You can add, remove, and rearrange the home screen pane. A long tap on a blank space opens the wallpaper and effects chooser. There are a lot of cool built-in wallpapers, effects, and themes that Oppo has provided. There's also a feature called Exclusive Space, which acts as a widget that takes up a whole home screen and is exclusively designed by Oppo. It has a camera viewfinder on top, allowing you to capture snaps right from your home screen, and it organizes all your shots chronologically below it. There are some nifty effects, which are brought by the various themes. Choosing the snow theme, for example, adds cool snowflake effects to the five customizable app shortcuts at the bottom bar and snow accumulates below them. The notification drawer has been improved, gathering the ability to show more than five quick settings toggles by a single swipe to the bottom. Below them sits a brightness shortcut and then there's the notifications which are also expandable. The multi-finger gestures are built in and work throughout the UI. For the custom drawing gestures, you have to slide from the top left corner to open the launch pad. It's more like a draw pad where you can draw a gesture with your fingers and it would activate the app of your choice. A double tap on the home button opens up the task switcher. The journey looks like stock Android but with a few twists. You can lock running apps so that they don't get cleared out when you touch the button at the bottom. You can also see just how much RAM you're using and have available from the same screen.